the name Sambo I was looking into this um, because I was trying to figure out why Sambo is supposed to be a offensive slur and supposed to be harmful you know to the feelings of the so-called black Americans or the so-called African Americans and um read some things I thought were um, eye-opening, but it's like one of those things, like when you look in the history of watermelon and black people, you realize they took, they meaning people that persecuted and looked down on and hated, hated the so-called black per, black people, the so-called African-American. They took some of the most simple things and turned to, and found a way to make them seem negative and ugly, because they look at watermelon, right? Watermelon, first of all, it, it's actually it's actually uh, comes from the melon family. Yeah, you you hear it's in the name. It's actually related to cucumbers, right? It's from India, which you have to ask, you know, how did it make it its way to America, <laughs> right? Um, but as you read about watermelon, you read about how all oh, the Egyptians. Man, they used to think watermelon was so great. They they depicted it on the walls. Now you gotta actually ask: Did they really depict it, or are we taking them at their word when it comes to this? But I digress. They said they, they depicted them on the walls because they thought these things were so amazing that you could take a seed, something that tiny, and it could grow to be something three times, four times its its weight. You know, whatever. I'm like, yeah, well, well, isn't that what happens with people? I mean, don't we start out something smaller than watermelon and look how we grow? Look how tall the giants grew? I mean, you know, you can see the, you know, the, 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 the dynamics and the similarities. But, you know, they, they say, though, you know, watermelon, it wasn't a plant that took much energy and work, right? That you could literally put the seeds anywhere and it would grow. So it didn't take much cultivating and farming. Only that's smart, though. If I don't have time to cultivate and farm because I'm having to build infrastructures, I'm having to be a tailor, right? You know, Lex Will, what was it, the uh, mystery of the Mexican pyramids? The the Aztecs that were bought at, at auction because of Ulysses S. Grant? What were they used for? To build the railroads, right? To build America's infrastructure, the book said to work as tailors, you know? And I forget the other things. I don't want to just list things that they didn't say, but I remember those off the top of my head. You know, you don't have time. So something like that, that you could plant and it will grow fast and it will give you nourishment and, 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 and water, a flavor of water, you know, you're gonna do that. Because you don't have the time to sit there and cultivate. So, you know, they take some of the things that were the most innocent and, you know, you wouldn't think much of it and they turned it into a negative stereotype. And here, I'm like, okay, what's wrong with the name Sambo? Because, <clears throat> as you know, my wife and I were, you know, we were picking, we were looking for names, um, which we had to go really, <laughs> we went extensive, but we went with something simple when it came down to it because um, we've had, you know, this is our sixth son, so... It's like you're almost out of boy names after your fourth one, you know, the names that you like. And um, we always try to do names that mean something to us or to one of us. And um, we try not to, you know, to use names you always hear all the time. So I was like, hey, what about Sambo? And she's like, no, no way. He'll get made fun of. He'll get picked on. And I'm like, well, it's a, it's a martial arts style that I like, you know. So I didn't think about that when I first said it, but I was like, "All right, why? Wait, why? Why? Why is the name supposed to be so offensive? Why is the name supposed to be so upsetting? You know?" And I can't put that on my son, you know, the name on that, and then he has to carry that, and and has to, you know, deal with people, you know, and has to give him an education lesson on it every time it's brought up. But <clears throat> I was going back over some of this stuff on the the Buddha. Um, when I was listening to Anthony L. Elmore's video, and he did a and he did a video on this, 
and they brought up the Sambo again. And I was like, we went and looked up the name, and we were looking at the baby names, and they didn't give what, you know, what used to be there. Here, and I thought this was interesting, here this is saying the name Sambo is supposed to be the name of their god, right? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. See, I think Sambo for them was exactly what the name is in the Bible. Or, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. It is Samuel of the Bible. I think Samuel of the Bible was a Lord, not a, not the Lord God, you know, not, but a Lord, like Lord of the house, you know, um, like Moses. Moses was the Lord that brought them out of Egypt. He no longer lives. Who's the next Lord? That's what I'm getting at. I think in this term, I don't think he was a God and he was, you know, divine. To, to the way they're making it sound here in this book. But I still thought it was interesting that the name pops up over there. And when you look up the name, which we'll do here. According to Wikipedia, Sambo is a derogatory label for a person of African descent in the English language. Historically, it is a name in American English derived from a Spanish term for a person of African and Native American ancestry. Now, look at this painting. <laughs> Doesn't that go back to the wigs that I did the video on just before? Like, look how dark he is. Right? And I guess she's supposed to be the native. And then look at, oh my goodness, this is what Lex was talking about. It was, wasn't this just what Lex was talking about? Oh man, what was he doing in that video where he said, ah oh man, because the, the dark... The dark European came over. He got with the 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 Indian women here, and then they made a hue in between. So now you have three different. Look at that. Negro. What they have her as mulatto, and they have that is the Sambo. So whoa, look at that. Look at that. Think about that. A lot of us aren't th are not this dark, right? And a lot of people want to say that if you see people look like this, oh, it has to be because of uh, European uh, ancestry, the, the people that we call European today. But a lot of us look like this, right? We're this brown, we're this uh, uh, hue. No, I'm not donating. A woman makes a symbol. Uh, I don't know if this is going to give us much of what I want. There we go. There it is. That's what I was looking at. Because I noticed that they took this story and they've changed the Sambo character to look more um, Indian from India. The name Sambo became especially associated with the children's book The Story of Little Black Sambo by Helen Bannerman, published in 1899. It was the story of a southern Indian boy named Sambo, who outwitted a group of hungry tigers. Bannerman also wrote Little Black Mingo, Little Black Quasha, and Little Black Quibba. See, now look at that. Now, okay, okay. I think Mingo, right, is a tribe from Ohio. Yep, yep, look at that. Look at that. Yep. Mingo, the people are an Iroquois group. Okay, okay, look at that. Look, whoa, okay. So, um, let's see if we can go back. So she's writing, let, let, let's wait, 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 wait. Let's see what the cover of this book is supposed to look like, right? Uh, there we go. <laughs> 
Oh my. The story of little black Mingo. I knew it. Look at that. Okay. All right. All right. Now look. Hold on. Let's see. What? What? Is is the story? Uh, Minga, on about oop oop oh it messed up. There we go. About let's see. Uh huh. The story of Little Black Mingo is the exciting tale of a little girl who befriends a mongoose after being kidnapped by a horrible mugger. With the help of the mongoose, Little Black Mingo must avoid being eaten as she tries to escape the island where the old mugger is keeping her. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so look at this. Look at this, look at this. I, I knew that. I knew, oh, man. See, because I've had it. Look, when uh, I did the video on, um, was it uh, John Smith and uh, the the black boys, where um, the Caucasian was painting his face jet black, right? Doing blackface, just like they did at the Boston Tea Party. Painting his face jet black and was raiding, right, the English settlements in the Ohio and Pennsylvania, uh, that, that valley between, um, was it, uh, between Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. come on, Pittsburgh and, um, Ohio, what is it called, there's a, it's the name of that valley, but anyways, so they're raiding that, and the English are now getting upset, which they, and they're getting upset, they're going to the British and they're complaining, why are, are you arming the Indians look what they're doing to us right so they did this basically to get the 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 British to stop selling guns to the Indians and then the English went to went into battle against the Indians right and had the common everyday common English people that were there with them that they got them on their side to go against them um, when they went into battle, but they, I did, I posted the video because there's a reenactment of it like in somewhere in Pennsylvania where they, uh, of the black face that they would do. And that's when I found out like the Boston Tea Party, they dressed up as Indians, but they painted themselves black, right? <clears throat> and um, I remember seeing this guy. Uh, uh, let's see. And, uh, there he is. Yeah, I remember seeing him, and that's where, what I because I remember seeing him, and I remember hearing his name, and that's when I was starting to put two and two together. Look, he plays for the Cleveland Browns, right? And the, this tribe was supposed to be where in, in Ohio, right? And I'm like, how much you want to bet he's a descendant of, of, of that Indian group? So, oh man. Now I just wonder what the rest of her stories were about. Because she's telling you right there, right? She might as well just put uh, Indian girl. Let's see here. Because that's what the Sambo's, the little the story of the little Sambo looks like. Uh, the, the character, the mother on there is like an ancient mama looking uh, character. Let me see here. All right, um... Let's see if we can look it up. And like I said, this one, they've gone out of their way to re redo the cover on this, these stories. See? Oh, no, I don't want to buy it. Sambo and the tiger. You got to think about it too, right? Right? There's no tigers in North America. So are people reading these books? And, I mean, you can't say they were stupid. They gotta know what the author is trying to say when they draw the you know the characters that they're that you're supposed to emotionally connect yourself to looking like this and having a tiger in the background. Right? 
They know where the tiger is from. It's not going to be located in North America or Mexico or South America or Africa. Tigers are in what? Asia. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Look, now look at it. Now, this one I'm talking about. Now look. To change it, look at this. The story of the little black Sambo. Why? Why do that? I want to see the. I want to find the ones where the cover is. Uh, and look at that's 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 the hairstyle that they draw. Look at the hairstyles they draw on those political cartoons. Of the people from the Philippines. That's that hairstyle. All right. Uh, I want to find. But there's ones I was I was trying to find. But see, the the mother looks like. Uh, I don't know why because it, it just it 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 doesn't fit. Um, but the way they depict the mother, see. Now, if that's supposed to be in a, in a Southern American woman's style, what is she doing, looking like that or in Asia, in India? And I'm not gonna play that because I'm not gonna get in strikes for that. But I'll put this in the description because I think that's interesting. So hold on, though. Here I looked up what does sambo what does sambo mean? Uh, a sandwich. Wow. A quick cup of tea. A sambo will set them up for their forty mile journey back home. Oh, let's see the amongst the Irish. That would be interesting. I don't know, no, it just says, in English, it's a sandwich. What is it? Irish? So that's what we're looking for, right? The Dutch. Sam together. Bo, live. Reside. Together, alive. Together, reside. Dan Danish. Let's see. I, I thought it said that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the, it's the fight style from, uh, from in, uh, the, Italian version is the fight style from Russia. That's where I and my wife's like, no, 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 no. Together again. Portuguese. Come on. A martial art. Spanish. Yeah, and that's why I don't like doing videos right now. Yeah, but... Zambo, the offsprings of a native and an African descent. No, they didn't give us Irish. That was weird. All right, so. Let's see, it says wax. Yeah. So here we have names, uh, baby names, DNA. Diminutive of Samuel, Hebrew, told by God. Sambo origin and meaning the name symbol is is girl is girl's name it should be is a girl's name uh, meaning told by God let's see here oh I was gonna read the whole thing uh, symbol went from being a short form of the very very variable name Samuel to being a racial slur after the popularity of the children's book Little Black Sambo first published in 1899 but by the 1930s decried by such established estab est oh my goodness let's see Oh no 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 no! 
Man, I'm messing up tonight. There we go. Esteemed critics as Langston Hughes as being racist. While some measures have been taken to rehabilitate the image of the book, the name Sambo seems terminally tainted. So, a form of saying Samuel is formally tainted, they're saying. And that's what I'm saying. They took some of the most simple things and they made them derogative. And it's just staying that way. Like, I mean, we know what the N-word means because of the Oxford English Dictionary. And uh, we know that if you look into Christopher Columbus, right, and you asked, okay, why would he say these people were Indians, Los Indios? Well, then Los Indios is what? God's people in God's land? Or God's land in the people? Is the translation of Los Indios Indians? So you know what he was looking at. You know what he was looking at? The, the people that were lost.